super excited for today's vlog. I haven't done anything like it yet. It's going to be a health and wellness vlog. So basically we're going to be doing everything under the sun of health and wellness, like fitness, fitness tips, wellness favorites, nutrition. I am going to go to the grocery store and run you guys through my grocery list and do a grocery haul of all of the healthy items that I like to pick out for the week. So yeah, this is basically just going to be everything under the sun health and wellness that I do from my day to day. Today we are going grocery shopping which is a little bit different than my day to day but I thought it was a perfect day so I could give you guys a overview of my grocery haul for the week ahead. <sighs> And that brings me to tip number one is to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. I literally have this water bottle at my side 24 seven. I fill it with ice water because I like my water cold. I know that's not the best for you. And Celtic salt. Celtic salt actually helps your cells absorb the water better, which is another little fun tip, hot tip, if you will. But hydrate, 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 especially when you get up in the morning. This is just gonna set you up for success. If you reach for water, first thing it boosts your metabolism gives you way more energy throughout the day and this is kind of preparing me for all of the sweat that I'm going to sweat out in my workout I'm about to do okay so I think I'm just going to do a at-home workout today I've actually been to the gym five days this week already and I love to mix it up with some at-home workouts sometimes I'll do hit sometimes I'll do yoga or Pilates I'm just going to like look on YouTube and find a video that I'm kind of feeling like doing this morning. So what I am wearing to my workout is this aloe sports bra. I love aloe. And then I also am wearing these Lululemon leggings with my Gymshark socks. And then I don't know, I think they're not the Metcons. Oh wait, they are the Metcons. I have these Nike Metcons. These are perfect for lifting, hit, just like everything under the sun for workouts and I really love them. I've had these shoes for two years now, which is crazy and they're in really good condition, but these are definitely my favorite shoes. I would say for workout attire and brands that I normally reach for, I love Aloe. I love Lululemon. Those are both on the pricier side and I love Gymshark. That's like my budget fitness item. So if I just want to get a lot of something I'm going to Gymshark. I do think Lululemon and Aloe are way more high quality but if you're looking for something lower budget fitness attire I would say Gymshark. I've heard a lot of good things about Amazon and I know there are a ton of different brands on like Instagram from like small stores now. I haven't shopped any of those but that brings me to my next tip is to dress to impress yourself at the gym. I think this helps so much with being consistent and giving you confidence in what you're wearing. Like whenever I buy new workout attire, I'm so excited to wear it. I feel my best. I feel confident. I'm excited to go to the gym and wear my new clothes. But I think getting new workout attire is the perfect way to motivate. <laughs>
that was a really good quick 30 minute workout super easy found it on youtube just wanted something quick and at home so i could get on with my day but i wanted to share another health and wellness or fitness tip with you guys and i think it's really important to have your workouts planned throughout the week so like this week my five days i knew what i was hitting on all five of those days normally my split will go leg day chest day back uh hip like cardio workout and abs and then legs again and then anything outside of those five days i'm kind of like okay if i work out outside of that perfect i kind of go with the flow like today i decided to work out from home just to get some quick movement in and stay consistent but i think it's super important to know what you are doing before you get to the gym it just gets rid of that decision fatigue it makes your gym sessions that much more efficient when you know what you're hitting that day and what exercise you are doing and I don't know I just think it's easier all around it makes me feel more confident when I step in the gym and I know exactly what I'm doing that day and it's just a lot quicker and easier so yeah I am going to go jump in the shower and I will catch up with you guys when I'm doing my skincare <music> Okay, so I just got out of the shower and did my skincare routine as you guys saw and I wanted to come on here and say tip number four is to have a great skincare routine, a hydrating skincare routine that will help rejuvenate and replenish your skin for the day. I obviously just worked out and spent a lot of time outside this week and worked out throughout the week and I love to have a skincare routine that just makes my skin feel hydrated and not dry and replenished. So a few of my non-negotiables are ice rolling, always. This helps to depuff. It just makes everything feel better and wakes me up. I then like to gua sha. Um, make sure to put some sort of oil on your face before you do this so it can glide seamlessly. But I love to do this for honestly more than anything. I don't really care about the benefits, but I just like love doing it and the way that it feels. And I just love that it's a part of my routine, but there are a ton of benefits with this. Then the skincare brand that I've been absolutely loving is Epicutus. I have their Hyvia cream and then their oil cleanser which I use to wash my face and then a lipid serum. I put this on before my lotion and it is literally magical. I swear it makes my pore size like go down and it just like replenishes my skin so much more. I feel like it's gotten rid of my hyperpigmentation and I had a lot of that from my acne but I've been using this for about a month now and I would say that I have already seen a huge difference with these products. Anyways, I'm going to finish getting ready and I will catch up with you guys after. for the day ahead. So normally I would have breakfast right around this time. It is 10.30, but there is nothing here to eat. So what I'm going to do instead is kind of flip-flop my day around and go to the grocery store right now and plan out my grocery list and walk you guys through that since I don't have anything to eat for breakfast and we'll make it when I get back from the grocery store. Basically how I make my grocery list every single week is I like to look for healthier high protein recipes. I'm really into eating 
eating like not processed food and getting whole foods. So I prioritized high quality proteins, fruits, vegetables, and try to get better carbs. I am a pasta girly, so I will say that I normally make a meal with pasta, but other than that, I like to prioritize high protein meals. Going off of that, I have a few of my favorite food bloggers, which I'll put on the screen here for you guys, but I will just search through their recipe index and see if anything sticks out for the week ahead. I have some recipes that I like to make ever so often. So like a recipe that I made two weeks ago, that was really good. I just like to remake it again, but I will go on, pick out a recipe and then make my grocery list in my notes and just write down every single thing that I'm going to need. And I also do this while looking through the kitchen to see what I already have. So we're not wasting any food or money and it just makes grocery shopping so much more efficient. So that brings me to my next tip, which is to stick to your grocery list and don't steer from it when you are shopping. I know it's super easy to see all of the new things that they have or seasonal things that they have, but I promise you this is the easiest way to stick to your budget and make sure you are prioritizing healthy meals that you want for the rest of the week instead of grabbing what looks good in the moment. So I'm just gonna finish making this grocery list and then we're gonna head out and go to the grocery store. just got back from the grocery store. It is a lot later than I was planning on doing this. My sister called and we talked for like an hour. I still haven't eaten breakfast, so I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up in place of my breakfast, but I wanted to do a little grocery haul. So let me show you what I got. Okay, so I got a lot of produce. I have some arugula and lettuce, cilantro, parsley. I've got about five avocados in here. I love dill, limes, lemons, always on hand. I got some peaches and some apples, pepper for our omelets in the morning, and zucchini. Some of this is for recipes and some of this is just to snack and eat. Next, I got this yellow bird hot sauce. I've never tried it before. It has really great ingredients and I'm super excited to try that. Spices, red wine vinegar, fruit, uh, raspberries, kiwi. I already mentioned the apples and the peaches. I have red tart cherry juice for my nighttime nightcap drink and then I have this oat milk it doesn't have any seed oils in it I've never tried it before but I'm super excited to try it in my coffee we have tomatoes basil everything rolls these are for our burgers we're making this week I've got some eggs and goat cheese which we eat an insane amount of goat cheese yogurt for a recipe and for snacking and then I have some breakfast sausages and some organic ground beef and then I have a one and a half pound of flank steak that I got from behind the counter at Whole Foods. One of my tips I was going to give you guys is to make a high protein breakfast after you work out and that just did not happen for me today which does not happen often. I'm quite a stickler about eating breakfast. I think it's really important and I'm starving right now and I don't like when I'm at the point of starving. So it is now one in the afternoon. I am eating a harvest salad with grilled chicken. Still high protein, healthy, just picked it up from Trader Joe's so I could eat it because I knew how hungry I'd be when I got back and I 
probably would not want to make a whole meal but i do like to prioritize high protein meals in the morning like i said and some of my go-to's are avocado toast with some over easy eggs and breakfast sausages i've been making omelets lately i also have been making this salmon and tomato one pan breakfast fry i think i posted a shorts video of the recipe of that but i love to just get creative i love breakfast i think it's really important to start your day out on the right foot and prioritize high protein and getting in some food so you have energy and you're fueled after your workout and for the rest of your day so i am just going to eat the salad and chill for a little bit i will catch up with you guys after So another thing that I do every single day and do not skip is take my vitamins and supplements. I think vitamins and supplements are super important for a number of reasons. They help me get in everything that I don't get in a normal day and fill in the blanks on what I'm missing with my nutrition or other things. So I actually use the brand Symbiotica. I love Symbiotica. And that brings me to my next tip, which is to get high quality supplements. Make sure you're getting supplements from a brand that goes through rigorous testing and you're actually getting what they say that you are getting. A lot of brands get put on shelves and they don't actually have as much of the vitamins and nutrients that you need. So I highly recommend getting Symbiotica. Some of the vitamins that I take, I like to take my glutathione, magnesium L3 and A. I normally take this closer to bedtime, so I probably won't take that today, but I love the magnesium. I take this vitamin C and then I love my adrenal supertonic, the omega, and then B12 plus B6 and D3 plus K2 plus COQ10. And then I also have two things of Sheila G always on hand. You can put these in your tea or your coffee or any drinks. This has like 84 minerals. It's like crazy how good this little black tar is for you. And then Beekeepers Propolis Immune Support Daily Throat Spray. I don't take this every day. I kind of take it whenever I feel like taking it. I also love the Beekeepers brand. They have super high quality stuff. They have the throat lozenges that I take and yeah, super great brands. Symbiotica, Beekeepers Natural, and they all taste fantastic. So I would highly recommend just doing your own research on supplements and vitamins and looking into some high quality brands. So I think I'm going to end the video here now. I hope you guys enjoyed this little health and wellness vlog. I had a really fun time doing it and giving you guys a grocery haul and I just love giving health and wellness recommendations. This is a typical health and wellness day in my life. I try to really make my lifestyle around health and wellness because I think it is really important. But I hope that you guys took something away from this took some tips some wellness tips fitness tips nutrition tips anything under the sun of health and wellness i hope that you guys got something out of this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe this video and you can also find me on instagram and tiktok for more short form content and more content outside of my youtube channel but anyway thanks again for watching and i will see you guys in my next video